Hi, I'm Maisie Odidu. I'm here with The Face at Queen's Peckham, and this is my Nanny Minutes. So, Big Brother is finally returning to our screens this autumn. Yes. And you're going to be co-hosting with Will Best. How did it feel to know that you're going to be the new nation's Dean and Cool? Ah, oh, I, do you know what? Genuinely, I am just so excited that the show is returning full stop. I mean, yeah. When Big Brother hung up its boots over five years ago now, I never thought I'd see that show again on UK TV. Mm -hmm. So the fact that it's coming back is amazing. And the fact that it's coming back with me and my mate Will Best is just even, even better. So how was it though, like when you found out the news? Absolutely buzzing. And actually I was with my friend and makeup artist at the time on another job. Mm -hmm. So I had like half an eyelash on, <laughs> slippers on, dressing gown, yeah. my hair's in rollers. I mean, it really was... It sounds very showbiz. A sight to behold. Yeah. <laughs> and I just whispered it to her and I was like, I think I'm doing that job. Really? And like, oh. I was like, we just like had a mini celebration yeah. and then kept it to ourselves. I didn't tell no one until my name was on the dotted line. Pretty much everything that you've done has been live broadcasting. How do you cope with that? I am a sucker for pain. I don't know why I do it to myself. Yeah. I can't tell you how anxiety inducing live television is. The butterflies feel like they're just going to explode out of your belly. Mm -hmm. Like your heart feels like it's pounding through your chest. Someone's talking in your ear, auto cue's gone down, something's happening left, right and centre and you've actually got to not panic. You feel so sick, you might projectile vomit and yet, you do it and love it. Yeah. It's like, what is wrong with me? Um, but I feel like I'm not scared of nerves anymore like yeah. I used to be. I, I embrace it. It means that I care, it means that I'm excited. And it's all adrenaline that I can channel in the right direction. Yeah. Have Let's you had go. any slip ups though? Oh my gosh, so many. Yeah. yeah like so what? That goes wrong. I've been on live TV and my whole boob has fallen out. What? Yeah. Hold the neck tops, guys. Like, it's. They're not your friend all the time. How did you cope with that? Was it like a, oh my God. Well, I didn't even know that it was out. I just remember the camera turning away from me and I'm thinking, hello. <laughs> like, kept, come back, come back, hello, I'm not I'm, finished. I'm over here. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I just remember my director in my ear going, your boobs out, your boobs out. Oh my God. <laughs> That's, okay, yeah, that would freak me out. But I'm not scared of those things anymore. We're only human, mistakes happen, you keep it moving. That's the beauty of live TV, like, it can't be perfect. So we're seeing a lot more people of colour on our screens. Do you feel like that's diversity coming from the inside? Yeah, I mean, it's taking its sweet blooming time, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I really am seeing a shift. I always wish it would be quicker. Yeah. I just want to see the TV industry and the media industry as a whole just reflect the society that we actually live in. So yeah, it is good to see improvements, but, but I always want more. Fuck it to me. Yeah. Previous Big Brothers, who's been your favourite? Oh my God, so many greats. You know, from Big Brother 1, I was obsessed with Davin, like he was initially scared of this chicken that they had to look after. Yeah. And then I saw them bond. The plastic baby, Ranita. I was like, I can't believe I'm watching a grown man bond with a plastic baby, but yeah. I'm here for it. And then in later seasons, I loved Alison Hammond and Jay Goody and Kate Lola, Nikki Graham. There were so many amazing storylines that came from that show. And that, you know, I've just mentioned the non-celebrity one. I mean, obviously, the celebrity one. Come on, David's dead. It's some of the best TV yeah. ever created. Which three Big Brother contestants would you most like to go on a night out with? Brian Dowling. Yeah. Really fun. Good time vibes. Tiffany Pollard. Yeah. She will just bring the drama. And you just know that if that bar lady's been a bit slow with you, like she's going to get the service that we deserve. Yeah. <laughs> Alison Hammond. Come on, good time gal. Yeah. Like she is fun, life and soul of the party. It's just great, isn't it? There's just like no show like it. So you said you're on social media a lot. What's the strangest DM you've ever received? A, a proposal. Really? Yeah, like I've had wedding proposals in my DMs. It'll start by saying something like, 
my darling AJ, my cutie pie, my one and only. And then it's a proposal. And obviously, the proposal is not coming from anyone that you want to, obviously. Of course, yeah. Engage with. But they are weird. Like, send us a picture of your feet. And I'm like, really? You want to fuck with my bunions? You don't want to see these bad no. boys. <laughs> <laughs> also, do they actually think you're going to respond? Pop that one in. I might do one day, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> today, don't worry. No feet in today. I've gone, don't fill my feet. I'm making a lot of money off my feet. No, <laughs> I'm joking. If your house was on fire and you can only save three items, what would they be? First one is a Louis Vuitton orange luggage case yeah. which my agent bought me it's an amazing present it's the most expensive item i own okay yeah. so i have to save that and then i fill that with <laughs> a pair of balenciaga boots that i bought myself yeah that was a real splurge and i was like oh my gosh like what am i doing with my life but yeah they're great. And then I'd also save like a vest that my mum got me in Nigeria. Like my mum, every time she goes to Nigeria, she would saw me like a headscarf oh, and a wrapper or, or something like that. Yeah. And I'd just save one of them. I like that. I feel like it's different stages in your life. Yeah. Bougie. Bougie. Bougie present. Yeah. A bit of home. A bit of home. <laughs> yeah. This has been my Manny Minutes. Thanks for me nails. No worries. I will see you. Run of Horse and Big Brother live. Tune in. Mwah.